It's my first time doing a gaming talk show. What is up, world? What is up? Let me turn this down a wee bit. I'll do a quick sound check because we are about to get fucking loaded with some rum concoction and some E3 action, and we've got it live right now on the screen so don't even switch the channel you don't have to you got it all for you it's all good like now let me give me a second to get everything set up um so try to get it all good let me make sure real quick what i was doing getting a sound test uh make sure everything good See, that's what I suspected, is that it might not be. Let's figure out what's going on. Hmm. This is gonna drive me nuts. So are you gonna be commenting that much? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to do a sound check on this and it's not going so well. Let me kinda hard to sound check the fan, I don't know. Oh shit, man. Okay, now let's see if we can hear everything a little bit better. I try it with the... Oh shit, this is an awesome song. Oh shit, this is an awesome song. <laughs> hmm, this is going to be a pain in the ass. I can already tell. Um, so let me grab some other shit that I'm going to try to make this a little bit better, but I know this room will be, <laughs> I know this room will be much better. It will. I'm just kind of being an asshole right now. There's not much of that drink left either. Yeah, I know. I didn't know it was going to make that little, but we do, I am drinking out of like a mason jar. What's up? Oh, it is? Good, dude. I was concerned. I have like this new fancy little blue snowball here and uh, I was concerned it wasn't going to work. Are you excited? I know EA probably ain't your favorite but uh, I'm excited for everything. Titanfall 2, the new Star Wars with a story, mostly Mass Effect and then um, what else were they doing? Oh Battlefield 1 looks awesome. Are you excited? Just to it's kind of like Battlefield 4 though where everybody plays for like 2, 3, 4 months and then Everybody abandons the game. Dude, oh well. Yeah, and then um, Bethesda is later tonight. Yeah, we can if you want. Give me a second though, because um, I gotta f search for my phone. Yeah, we can we can Skype. Uh, let me put my number in here or my name number.
Fuck. Completely forgot I need headphones. Give me a second. <laughs> completely forgot I needed headphones and shit. Give me a sec. I can hear me, by the way, so. Give me a second. Working on that. Aha! Alright, Jen, can you hear me? Jen. Check, check. Can you hear me? G, okay. Can't hear you. Nope. Can't hear you, Jen. Damn it. Did you mute yourself? No. Check your mic settings. Shit. Because that's a new mic, so maybe. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh. Still nothing on your end. What the fuck? I get this new mic and it doesn't even work. God damn it. Try to figure it out. Try to figure it out. Shit. Hey, I'm gonna restart it. I don't know if you're on my Twitch, but I'm gonna restart it. <sighs> God damn it. It is so hot in here. I can't think. Yep. Oh shit, it's four o'clock. Shit, I forgot my password. One, two, one, three. Shit. Hey, oh my God, why?
בחרו. הלו. או ש... I still can't hear you. Can you hear me? What happened, Chris? I told you, bro. Don't leave. Don't leave games prematurely, man. Yup. Yup, they do it. They do it. <laughs> Fuck, isn't this working? Let me. I don't say it. See, and it says it's working on here. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Hey, how's it going? What is wrong with my microphone? Oh, it's on. Hey, it's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on like my. Shit, shit. How's it going? What is wrong with my microphone? Oh, it's on! Hey, it's on, it's on, it's on. It's on. It's on like my... If you are able to hear your... Woo! Let's watch this bizzle. Oh, shit, it's Hey, can you hear me? I should be able to hear you now. Okay, hold on. Yes, hold on. Okay. It could also be... Things are happening on the E3 thing on. feed. Okay, so I can hear there. Yeah, I still can't hear I still can't hear your mic.
So let's welcome Peter Moore and hundreds of our friends from London. crowd here in London, we're at the iconic Hammersmith Apollo Theatre, we've got game stations back there, I've got 600 of my best friends, what a great looking group they are, we are going to have a blast tonight. Back to you. Thanks Peter. We'll be back with you in just a bit. Let's quickly set the stage for what you'll see over the next hour. We will take a look into the future of EA Star Wars games. Bioware will take us further into the next intense chapter of the Mass Effect universe. So, uh... From EA Sports, we have both competition and story. And of course, Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2 are both here today. Woot, woot to the max. Right away after this show, we will actually host the first ever live stream 64-player Battlefield 1 match. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Did any of you see the Battlefield trailer last month? I know you did, and I know a bunch of you were thinking, is this real? Are there actually going to be airships and horses and trench knives and shovels? So two things. One, yes. And two, you can see it for yourselves. Not in another trailer, but with an hour of gameplay live streamed around the world just an hour from now. A few thoughts before we get into the action. Just a decade ago, there were about 200 million game players in the world. We thought that was a lot. Now there are 2.6 billion and growing. We are all part of a global phenomenon. At its core is play. Yo, is that good, Giga? Increasingly important to our lives today. For many of us, games are vital. That's what drives us to make games and continue building, creating, innovating, and exploring. We know just how important it is. We see it as our responsibility to help people on all corners of the globe experience play. Because we all play to live. This will be a fantastic three days. Fuck. Are you serious? It's that fella. No. Thank you, Andrew. Hello everyone, it's great to be back uh, near E3. Um, so, Titanfall introduced millions of players around the world with a fast, fluid, pilot and Titan gameplay that is at the heart of Titanfall. And with the release of Titanfall 2, we're excited to welcome PS4 players to the franchise for the first time. Oh yeah. That was a sick ass game. Uh, we'll start off with a look at what players can expect out of uh, Titanfall multiplayer. Like that was the last one. Like straight out of it. That was level and everything. <laughs> the overall like, playability on this is really cool. Dude, Titanfall is fucking awesome. That was a good ass game. It was for a while. It it's kind of shitty it didn't have a story mode, but now it will. <laughs> I love it. So, 
Titanfall 2 builds on the signature pilot and Titan gameplay to deliver a more robust experience, backed by the depth and variety our fans have been asking for. This includes six new Titans, each with their own unique combat abilities, expanded pilot gameplay, more customization options, and a deep progression system. And of course, with super smooth gameplay that we've always delivered. Expanded pilot gameplay. Uh, prior to launch, we'll be holding a multiplayer technical test designed to help us stress key features of the game. To play the multiplayer test, go to titanfall.com and sign up to get all the details. Now, for the four people that didn't see the leak this morning, and if you know this, sing along with me. Um, I'm excited to confirm single player! So we'll be adding a full, offline playable campaign to Titanfall 2. It'll be crafted to dive deeper into the Titanfall universe, exploring the unique bond between pilot and titan taking full advantage of the movement and combat to deliver a feeling of being unstoppable together. I can't even believe that they did it in the first place, single though. Player trailer for Titanfall 2, coming October 28th to PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Thank you, everyone. BT-7274. Your data recorder says your original pilot was killed in action. Correct. My original pilot was KIA. I now link to Rifleman Jack Cooper. Who authorized this? We had no other options. Fucking sweet. And the first one was fun, it just seems stupid to not have a single player. Like, <laughs> nobody cares about this game. But they actually are pretty fun, to be honest. I spent a couple hours on them. That is Madden NFL 17 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And as always, the game looks incredible. This year, Madden lets you take your team all the way with the most balanced gameplay to date, new ways to play in franchise mode, and an all-new commentary team. It personifies everything we love about <coughs> sports. Passion intensity and of course competition competition in the world of gaming is esports and it's absolutely electric elite players a global stage and of course big paydays
From the first Madden Challenge 14 years ago to today's competitive battlefield scene, and of course, the FIFA Interactive World Cup, EA is no stranger to the power of elite competition. But the spectacle of esports barely scratches the surface of competition. It's a select few that become pro gamers. That is why EA is embracing a new approach to competitive gaming. We want to make stars of all of our players. With new competitive modes and weekly online contests in our biggest franchises, we're making competition fun and meaningful for everyone, regardless of their ability. They're going to make As people such, make money. I'm excited to announce three awesome new ways to compete. Challenger events, premier events, and EA major events. With our Challenger series of events, we'll be giving the community an ability to be more easily hosting and running their own tournaments. Next up is the Premier Series. These are large-scale live events that we'll host with partners from inside and outside of the gaming world. And finally, there are EA Major events. These are marquee live events run by EA on a global stage. The best players competing. Shit, so EA is going to run a tournament And it all starts now. this weekend at EA Play in Los Angeles with our first EA Major event, the Madden NFL 16 Championship. In a moment, Dang. we'll welcome ESPN Stan Barrett to the stage in LA who will introduce you to the eight finalists. But first, let's be two of the fiercest Madden competition out there. Every problem right. Let me use this opportunity to go pee. I'll be right back. Playing. A little rum. Skim it a dumb. Of all time, he's the guy to beat. This guy just wins. Being the best in the world often inspires awe, reverence, and respect. And when you're the best in the world at a video game, everyone thinks they can take you down. Every day on Twitter, people coming in saying that they could beat me. Usually, I just respond in, in, the, in the nature of something like, you know, Floyd Mayweather doesn't fight, you know, Joe Smo off the street. I am the greatest of all time when it comes to Madden football. I'm here to win, and whoever's in the way is just, you know, another person that's going to have to get laid out. I'd like to believe that I'm the best man playing the world. Give it up for serious Mo! If anybody can be the head of the conference throw, a lot of people feel it's going to be serious Mo. I've kind of dedicated my life to this. You know, I mean, when I was 16, I was like at the top of my class. But I would like go to school with like no sleep from being up all night playing that. Being a full-time video game player it is hard for a lot of people to understand. It is tough. It is tough to do and I'll play as many hours as I can I just to really get ahead okay, of the sorry. competition. Both Problem and Serious Mo have a claim to the top of the Madden world, and the issue may be settled at the Madden Championship. It's a tournament that started with a million players in online qualifiers and ends this week. Live in Los Angeles with $50,000 at stake. These would-be rivals are actually close friends, but don't expect them to take it easy on each other if they meet with a title on the line. Oh, there's no question I'm going to win the Madden Challenge this time around. I wish him best of luck, but, you know, I got to beat him. started with a million players competing online and now only these eight remain the best Madden NFL players in the world all that guy in the sling is definitely going to lose first oh. and only one is going to be the winner uh, sorry let's, let's meet one of the guys here who appears to be a little injured this is serious mo you saw the piece what happened uh right some friends and then my shoes tied so I almost caught him didn't have your shoes tied are they tied now? Oh, no, they're not tied. All right, we don't want you to fall off the stage. All right, uh, best of luck to you. Best of luck to all of you guys. Now, it's going to be an awesome competition. If you can't be here at EA Play to see it in person, you can tune in. You can watch on Twitch, YouTube, or tune in to ESPN3 to watch all the action live. Or join us at ESPN2, 6 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday for the finals. Now, let's send it back to Peter in London. I forgot ESPN starting to cover all this now. This is it. Can I turn the lines off? No, I can't do that because I'm doing this. Shit. I should be done. Can I Looking forward to some great action this week. Let's also take a moment to talk about the year ahead. 
I'm excited to announce the Madden NFL 17 Championship Series. Next year, everything gets bigger and better. How much better? We're putting up $1 million in total prize money. Now, it takes full-time dedication to be the best. And we want to reward our elite players for their skill and commitment. The Madden 17 Championship Series is a full year of high-stakes action that spans four EA majors and more events to be announced soon. I didn't even realize that that was Madden, that big of a EA thing. Competition oh, God, is God damn. Of everything Why do you we'll think Counter-Strike's so big? And we'll have more news about There's four so many events and more games to share soon. So stay tuned. Fantastic. And here's to a great year of competition ahead. It's but now, okay. let's go back to Los Angeles. Here's the general manager of Bioware, my good friend, Aaron Flynn. Hold me. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Um, What's up? I'm so excited. I'm going to freak out. It's a question. I'm going to sleep How far out. will we go? In the game, you are part of an ambitious expedition, leaving the Milky Way galaxy to help humanity find a new home. Such fun. You travel millions of light years to the Andromeda Galaxy. You wake up. Now what? Everything is new. New planets, new species, new technologies. You must be among the most courageous, the most daring to go on this journey. Because this is a galaxy where you are the alien. How far will we go? That question is also at the heart of the development of Mass Effect Andromeda. The Mass Effect trilogy this right now, Mass is Effect. part of our history and the lives of many of our fans. It was Number an amazing one. story, but this is a whole new adventure. We're building on the things you love about Mass Effect. Amazing stories and gameplay, and now we're letting our imaginations run wild. This is a bigger adventure filled with a whole new cast of memorable characters and more freedom than we've ever given players in a Bioware game. And for the first time, it's all powered by Frostbite, which means you're going to see, hear, and feel Mass Effect like never before. That's our promise to you. So how far will we go? Well, we can't wait to share more with you this fall. Here's a look behind the scenes at Mass Effect Andromeda. Thank you. Hello. Our survival as a species has always depended on our drive to seek out the undiscovered push beyond our limits, and expand the boundaries of our known world. With Mass Effect, we are going further than ever before. <laughs> to Andromeda, to build a new home for humanity. Imagine distant star systems with remote and hostile planets. Teeming with alien life and civilizations. Worlds where adventure, danger, and the unknown are waiting to be discovered. You created a universe that you will lose yourself in. A whole new galaxy for you to explore. All right. How's everyone doing? Okay. I hope you're loving what you've seen so far. We've still got a bunch more ahead, including FIFA, Star Wars, and of course, Battlefield 1. But first, let's have a practical conversation about play. Many of these games we're talking about today are months away. Meanwhile, I'm Did sure you all know. Was that, that it? Was that seriously it? 
It's a commitment to continue to deliver new content. Oh my god. In just the last year alone, we delivered more than 300 updates to our most popular games. Oh my god. This year, that number will be even higher. What the fuck? I don't even care what you have to say. The battle, I mean, the Star Wars. What the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god! Well, I want to see the new Star Wars because apparently it's based off the new movie. God. Fuck. It's the whole reason I watch this. So. Now here's one more way we hope you'll play this week. We have a new program called Play to Give. It's a big deal for us, and it's unlike anything we've ever done before. We're bringing together in-game challenges with charitable donations. First, the charities. At EA, we celebrate charitable causes that encourage a more diverse and inclusive world for all of us. I'm so mad. As well as those that inspire and assist future game makers through STEM education. Dude. Mm -hmm. So we partnered with five great organizations for EA Play. The UN He For She Initiative, National Center for Women and Information Technology, Special Effects, Code.org, and Code 20. I mean, I just... Now, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't literally don't even want to talk about it. I'm so I'm so pissed off right now. There's a new objective that's based on I'm so pissed off. We're celebrating strong female Yeah, I'm pretty Oh, he's on here. you deploy a special squad This is a revolutionary are playing on the biggest stage for the best tactical minds in the game alongside the greatest names playing in the park with my mates i've already pictured it taking flawless 50 yard passes from beckham sending in messi with the perfect through ball burying it in the top corner like rooney now i have the chance to make that dream my reality to put on a premier league
seen a kid coming out of the exit trance generate this much interest in years. I never expected anything like this. Yes! A goal for Alex Hunter on his debut! You're at the big league now. You have to raise your game. You need representation, you call me. Wow! Check this place out! Just don't get too carried away. Can disappear just like that. Life doesn't always give you what you want, does it? Already. You'll get your opportunity, Hunter. Just get me out of there. Oh, we might as well pack this season in now. What, what else are you thinking? I want to stay and fight for my place. I won't let you down. to none. More than 1,500 wins between them with 10 league championships and two... And <laughs> this dude's like, fuck off. Did, did I say three? I'm not quite sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose Mourinho. I, I, I don't write the scripts here, I don't do the game. Jose, of course, is in the game. And it is a great honor for Jose to join the EA family to be in FIFA 17 as the great manager now, of course, of Manchester United. We were energy in the game, I don't know why. Uh, can, we get, can we get Jose into the game? Okay, I'm, I'm still upset with you. You're, st you're still upset? It's what Jose. You you're going to be more upset when you come to Anfield this season. We have, we have 20 of us. Well, I think we've all seen your contract, so I think there's plenty of ultimate team business to be had. So it's going to be great having the managers in there, and it's even more important to have Jose Mourinho, one of the great personalities of football for the last 20 years. And all happy to have you in the game. 
I know your son needs some early code for the game. I think yeah. I can take care of that. So, but ladies and gentlemen, please thank Joe. I didn't call him the special one. Okay, we've shown you a lot today, but we're not done. It's my pleasure you have to not showed us a producer, Aaron McCarty. Aaron. The three is kind of a joke, you know? It's... No, well, it's just annoying. Here. Like, don't even show it if that's all you're going to show. Don't get us excited it's great to be for here it. in London. Uh, but for me, and for the development team back in Vancouver, it's amazing to finally be able to show you the journey. Now, the best thing about the journey is you're in control of your story off the pitch. But in FIFA, what is this? Oh, just FIFA. like football, God the most damn, important there's more thing is what okay. happens on because the pitch. FIFA is super popular, like I realize that, but damn, dude, so is Mass Effect, and you fucked this on the last one. You changed the ending with the DLC. Yeah, I'm gonna go do something more important than watching this. What are you doing? Are you pooping? No, they are. Oh, maybe sometimes. Three written set pieces to give you creative control over every dead ball. We huh? I'm not going to cook, just so you know. We built a new intelligence system so our players are smarter and more active off the ball. And we're giving you new ways to create chances and finish in front of goal. And those massive transformations are inspired by some of the best young football talent in the game. Let's meet them now through the lens of FIFA 17. <laughs> Okay guys, a new season, a fresh start. Today is about winning. In football, this fans happy. They are why we train. They are why we are here. So remember what we need to do. Be strong on the ball. Make intelligent runs. Be ruthless in front of the ball. And own every moment. The time has come. You are ready. The fans are ready. Now, go show them why we are the best. So about this time last year, we surprised you with something unexpected. With Unravel, you met Yarny, a tiny little character with a huge heart going on an epic adventure. You also met Martin Salim, a passionate and creative game maker from the Cold World studio that brought Yarny to life. We knew Unravel would steal your hearts, because it stole ours. But it also showed us something profound. When we first saw Unravel, we saw a game that we knew deserved the world's attention. It Hold up, five more in a minute. Five more minutes of that for one, y'all. At least they better rep a fucking like zent on this one because they fucked us over with Mass Effect. I literally mean that. Please. Please hear me on this, and they we are fucked to work us over hard. I'm being quiet because I'm trying so not to rant right now. We are very excited to announce EA Originals. Our EA Originals program is about... And these small developers have risked themselves to develop a new IP and create games 
to serve as great games to serve to be played. Now check this out. With EA Originals, we want all the profit from these games to go back into the hands of the developers. So they can keep innovating and creating into the future. Now, we've already begun with EA Originals. So please welcome to our stage, Club Princess. Joint Games in Gothenburg. He's here to take you into the beautiful world of our first <laughs> EA Originals game called Fear. What? Something fear. That has nothing to do with the actual fear, though, does it? Hi, everyone. That's um, fucked. It's amazing to be here. <laughs> that is so fucked. Give it a different name. It's, uh, well, it's really <laughs> oh my god, they juke me on that one. To Holy shit, I thought that was I another fear. I'm studio in Sweden, in Gothenburg, called Soink. And we're about 20 people brought together by our fascination for new approaches to interactive oh, storytelling it's rude. and art. And recently we've been on a journey with a very special new project. And thanks to Patrick and EA. We're here today to bring you along with us. That's the second time today EA's gotten me. Fee. With Fee. At its heart, Fee. Fee. It's Fee. a personal narrative Fee. about our Fee. relationship with nature. Uh, it's a game without words. <laughs> a celebration of our He lives walked us and said, okay, that's gay. <laughs> it's a story that reminds us that everything in this world is connected. We're living in a delicate balance that is constantly under threat. You awaken as a young cub, all alone in a dark forest glade, and you have no idea who you are or how you got there. Thank you, thank you. What I was gonna say is peach mango mix. Do you even know what that's like? Ooh, okay, I wanna see this. I'll watch this. I like the music, at least. The music's tight, I'm into it. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, it's pretty, you can't deny that it's pretty. Yeah, I can too. I like it. I'm into it. Andrew is cooking right now and it smells exactly like um, cat shit. I don't know what he's making. It smells awful. It has to be like cabbage or something. What what else smells? Okay, that's adorable. How about not? Hi everyone, it's 
great Get team it. here to talk about our Star Wars, Wars games. Right now, we have teams across the world creating a wide range of Star Wars If you don't make it off the new one, we're done. Star Wars we're done. Games. These teams are being led by some of the creative minds who have made some of our favorite games of the last decade. Like what? And now they're channeling their talent I'm just and passion to bring you all new experiences this girl that will dies. spend many nice. corners of the Star Wars universe for years to come. Let's break it down. Already today, you can play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, Star Wars The Old Republic, and of course, Star Wars Battlefront. The Old Republic kicks ass. Each of these games are live and getting fresh, new content all year long. Next year, you're going to get a new installment of Star Wars Battlefront. Huh. Led by DICE, in huh. collaboration with Motive, we're building on the foundation of the first game. We're listening to our players and you adding better. more of what you want, including content from the new films. Then coming in 2018 is a new action-adventure game from Visceral Games. Amy Hennig and team are creating an original narrative in the Star Wars universe with new characters. And beyond that, we've got more amazing projects in store. I'm playing a lot more WoW now. Respawn Entertainment. Uh -oh. They are exploring a different Star Wars era in I'm their concerned. own third-person action-adventure games. We can't wait for you to play these games. I can't wait to play them myself. Here's a special peek behind the curtain.
Oh, get it, kitty. So that was just a piece of our EA Play trailer, and you'll get to see the full version in just a bit. But first, what? I want you to know that our Wait. team at Dyson Stockholm has huge hey, ambitions for Battle One. We've set out to deliver an epic and unforgettable experience for our players. And the result is a dynamic experience where no battle is ever the same. But as autonomous as our DICE team is, it is you, the battle community, that powers the team. That is why, as world premiere last month, we revealed Battle 1 alongside our players. We want the community to be part of this every step of the way. And today marks another exciting milestone in the road to Battle 1, our first in-depth look at gameplay. And to reveal that, I'm honored that we have players from our community here to lead the first ever live stream of Battle 1. Oh, uh, Stone Mountain is here. Thorium's like, oh, Charlie Alpha Delta. Yeah. Stone Mountain, what's up, dude? Right now. Thanks, guys. I am excited because today we are going to see actual gameplay is that? straight that is. from Battlefield 1. Under the oh, they're both of them. That's um, Ryan, uh, or not Ryan. Are gonna be on those yeah. Are yeah. For Holy event? shit. Yes. Yeah. Can't wait. Dude, so. <laughs> Damn. Well, I know I'm excited and Their budget was uh, extensive. The Battlefield Squad's live stream kicking off. 64 players going head-to-head. 32 v 32 in a best of three matchup and I can't wait to see wins good luck to the both of you guys and your respective teams now let's go back up to Patrick and find out exactly what makes this game so epic thank you Jose so only in battle one will you engage in some of the biggest battles ever seen as you squad up in epic multiplayer matches with up to 64 players now that's going to be really cool to watch and in just a few minutes, you'll get to see how no battle is ever the same. Through the power of frostbite, intuitive destruction, dynamic weather, and a variety of weapons and vehicles makes this the most immersive and dynamic battle game ever. So let's start by talking destruction, a hallmark for Battlefield. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In Battlefield 1, destruction is more intuitive and natural than ever. This creates unlimited gameplay possibilities as you impact the world around you. And next dynamic weather. Weather will now change unpredictably, so you, can, you will need to adjust your tactics based on the conditions. So playing the same map on a bright day, or in heavy fog, or rain, will impact what you see. That's actually pretty tight. Here, so you have to adapt your play style. And finally, an impressive variety of weapons and vehicles add to the range of experience you'll have on the battlefield. And most notable, the introduction of the ultimate vehicles, the behemoths. The Great War gave birth to some of the largest vehicles ever made, and Battle 1 gives you the chance to control these beasts. Take control of an airship, armored train, or a battleship to dominate the battlefield across air, land, and sea. An all-out war has never felt so epic. When Battle 1 launches on October 21st, worldwide, you will experience destruction, weather, and a variety of weapons and vehicles that ensure no battle... October 21st? And for those nice. of you who are Battlefield Insiders, you get an early access to experience this first job, hand during the open ego. beta later this summer. All right. Can I get a crappy job? In just a few minutes, did you write the uh, Steam games? Live stream would begin. No, did you put your but application first, in? You have to take it to Oh, you have to email it. Shit. No, I'll do that after this, I guess. Since obviously I'm not going to hit 60 tonight. What if you play? Dude, I gotta watch this. This is like the last victory I got No, it's the last game. Totally. They only had an hour.
Yeah, I dropped the toilet seat. Oh, wait a minute.
Hold on, so we can get you a second real quick.